Hey everyone, it's Henry and welcome back to the channel. Today I am excited because I want to do an unboxing of a set that I've been dying to add to my collection. So what makes this set so valuable you ask? Well, number one, it is a retired set. But the main reason why I really wanted this set so bad is one of the minifigures that's included is pretty freaking rare. So you know what? Let's just get right into it. Let's get right into the intro and let's do this fun unboxing. Hit it. Alright, so here we go. So a little backstory about this. I did a trade through Marketplace, this really cool guy named AJ from Alberta. Uh, we did an exchange for some Star Wars, for some Star Wars. So again, this is a Star Wars set, so that's the first hint. But he was really nice, really gracious enough to do this trade for me. Will I definitely do trades in the future? Absolutely. So AJ, if you're watching the video, thank you so much for the hookup. Super excited. And let's get right into the reveal. So, well, let's go ahead and reveal it. So here we go. Oh my gosh, super excited. All right, can you see what it is already? Can you see? So Star Wars for sure. What a great job packaging. Thank you so much. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this beautiful set right over here. How beautiful is, wow, impeccable condition. This here is set number 75158 has a total of 936 pieces. At the time, retailed for $150, and that is Canadian dollars. In today's market, this retails up to $300. And it comes with a total of five minifigures. All right, here it is. So my gosh, the condition of this box is impeccable. AJ, thank you so much. You did such a great job with wrapping this baby up and sending it my way. But apart from that, oh, I'm just in disbelief that I finally have this as part of my collection. And again, the most sought Finny figure here is Ahsoka Tano. You know, she's retailing anywhere from $150 to about $300. And I know you think that's absolutely intense and insane, but if you look at the minifigure, she's gorgeous. You know, all the details on the headpiece to the eye detail, to her uniform, to the legs, all the detailing is there. And for collectors, that's exactly what they look for when they're looking at minifigures. It's actually quite known that a lot of people buy sets for the minifigures and not so much for the set itself, like the bigger build. But you know, I'm recently getting more into minifigures and I thought she's just such a beautiful piece and I wanna definitely add her to my collection and now I actually do have her. The question now comes down to, do I wanna open the set or do I keep it in its original condition? Let me know down in the comments down below, I'd like to know. But looking at the box overall, pretty cool. Let's look at some of the details here. I don't wanna scratch the box of course, so go ahead and flip it over here for you. But if you can see here in the back, there is a lot of interactive components to this. I haven't built this before or seen any reviews on this either. So I'm pretty new to this set here because I was mainly more focused on Ahsoka Tano. But you can clearly see here on the box that there, uh, the top comes off. So there are some, in, in, uh, some interactive components, of course. But also it seems like there's some form of digital online force builder app of some sort. Don't know what that's about, never done it. So pretty cool. Looks like the back does open up uh, where the engines are. So there seems like these to be some kind of latch mechanism, some shooting components as well too. So there definitely looks like there's a lot of playability with this. Um, I can see you can shoot out some kind of torpedoes of some sort in the front. So altogether, it's pretty playable. You can open it up, pretty interactive. And I do like that, especially for the price point of getting five minifigures with this set. I do like that as well too. So just go over them briefly. You have Ahsoka Tano, of course, you have, C110P or 10P, C110P, the chopper. I've never heard of that um, droid before. So I gotta look that up. We also have here Ezra Br Bridger, Commander Sato and Agent Kalos. I like Agent Kalos. He looks pretty cool. I like his armory there. I like his helmet. Seeing that this set does retail for about 
almost could be up to $300 actually for this set because it's no longer uh, available in stores. I think the value of this is going to continue to go up and now with the Mandalorian series as well too with Ahsoka Tano being in season two which I'm sure there'll be more seasons with her in it. I feel like the value for this minifigure will just go way up especially for the set as well too. So you know a lot of great things with the set. Really like it. I just wanted to do a simple unboxing for you today. Super excited to have it but again leave me down in the comments down below. Should I open this up? Would you like me to do a review on maybe like my most prized minifigure? and I'll add Ahsoka Tana to it. Not too sure, let me know down in the comments down below. All right, so that brings me to video. This was a short little wrap up that I wanted to do, just to do a very quick unboxing, show you of a set that I received, see a light reaction. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I did. Again, I love, love, love that I have the Rebel Combat Frigate to my collection officially, but there'll be more unboxings to come on the channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Your support means everything. So if you like the content you see on my channel each and every single week, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below, like my video, and leave a comment. I would appreciate all your support. Thank you so much. Thanks again for stopping by, but I'll see all of you next week. Until then, see you later.